Give me an, more of an update about what your company is doing. Hey, thanks so much. Um, so yeah, we're, we're trying to make workplaces work better. There's a ton of different mundane things that, that people kind of put up with on a day-to-day -day basis. And what we want to do is really kind of rethink all of this. Um, yeah, and we started in a, in a, ver a very simple visitor sign-in product that people saw everywhere. They were excited about it, and they brought it to their own companies. And, and that's how we got to the over, what is it, 13,000 companies that are using it today. So pretty excited about this, and, and now we're taking on the rest of the office. So lots of different products, lots of different areas. Um, yeah, good times. And I want to talk about that different office because we know that you have nailed the check-in process. What are you doing to make the office a smart workplace? Yeah, well, so think about this. Like in your home, you have, you kind of had this old thermostat, which kind of got transformed into kind of something beautiful, much like the Nest thermostat. And, and it just kept on going. It got connected. It would measure when you're home, when you're not, and, and all the different things that, that would make your office just, or like your home a really great place is, is now it's interconnected. And we want to do that for the office. We, wanna, we want people to come into the office, know, like a visitor comes in, they sign in, they go into a meeting room in that meeting room it welcomes them uh, maybe it will like if you're in the meeting room then you can extend that that time as well like the future is a place where you're just not worried about the day-to-day -day mundane stuff and and that's some of the things that we're working on to make it much better and with all of this though comes heightened scrutiny over data what are you doing to keep data safe yeah, well, let's think about kind of where where sign-in was before this. Um, people would go into somebody's office, and there's literally a logbook that would just be on that front desk, and you could just see everybody before you. Our company, what we literally do is is we're trying to bring people away from that. We're trying to make it better. So it's so it's now on an iPad. You would sign in. It's one person at a time, and and that way you don't see everybody else's information, including like sometimes driver's license numbers. So all of this stuff is now centrally stored and and you being in a in a facility um, you have access uh, as, as a facilities director you would have access to all of your facilities around the world so if you have 100 offices you can just see all of the sign-in information from 100 different offices that that your company would own so it's a very great way of, of providing a lot of power for our bigger enterprises um, and that's just the one product when you think about everything together it's it, it's just that that added convenience and power really does bring a lot of uh, uh, things that you can do you know, a few weeks ago, I interviewed a gentleman and he had an all remote workforce. How much of a headwind is that to your business as we increasingly move to being more remote? That's a great question. I think just generally, people are going to want to see and work with other people. Um, we have workplaces because it's just it's a lot easier to collaborate a lot of the time. Now, not every job and not all the time. That's true, but it's it's oh, even now the census data is showing maybe like three or four uh, percent of people work from home. So it's still a pretty small percent. I don't see that changing anytime soon. Just because inherently people want to be with people, and and we're just going to make that area even better for them.